you're um, getting lake water on your sofa. Shit. Right. Uh, I should change. Um. Be right back. Just need to go upstairs and put on something dry. And might be good to see if Quentin has calmed down some. strangers either. Maybe next time. Have we been through enough together? Can I get a high five? Dude, your life is about to change. much I want to ask Sophie about. I don't even know where to start. So, you're what happened a shapeshifter. On the you have You've powers? got powers? Oh. Here. Person with the bottle cap has to answer a question. Huh. Ah, you clever little minx, you. <laughs> hmm. Deal. Let's play. Can you? Turn into anybody? Uh, only if I've met them IRL. Trying to guess who I've been? Go ahead. I'll answer those for free. That was you impersonating Gwen and dealing drugs to students. Not like she didn't deserve it. Your book deal. 
When I got the news, it was canceled. She was the first person I called. She said she didn't know anything about it. When she started ignoring my texts, I knew it was mask off time. Hell, I started to think you were in on it too. That's why I came tonight. To see what you were hiding. Why didn't you tell me you knew Gwen killed it? I wanted to wait till I got more information. You've got my number, Max. <laughs> we could have shared intel. Hey, it's whatever. Tonight's a total reset. Did you change into Lucas and ruin things with his son? I thought Lucas was involved in canceling my book. I gave him a chance to come clean. He didn't. I guess Lucas could be taken down a peg. Or three. He's still successful, still tenured, and still a man. He'll be okay. There was a moment talking to Amanda today that felt a little... different. Look, you were snooping around. I needed to know why. It was... self-defense. Your impression of Amanda? <laughs> I have some notes. <laughs> Good enough to fool most people. I thought you were most people. So, that was actually you trying to get into Vin's phone. Mmm. If anyone deserves an acting award, it's me. I thought he was just trying to get rid of anything tying him to the cow skull fiasco. So that was him. Guess he's still not over me. Nothing says take me back like vandalism. Kids don't spray paint their names in hearts anymore. You know, I hung out with Vin last night. We, um... We kind of made out. Oh, Max Caulfield, you dog. <laughs> well, the Vin from the other timeline, the one without you. Still counts. I guess I should let you ask me something now. So. Are you like that girl in Frozen? Ice powers and musical numbers? No. There's a world parallel to this one that I can access. I am um, switched that world's icy lake with our broken one. Hang on. Parallel world? It's the same as this one. Except... I... killed you. Or I... will. What the fuck are you talking about? I 
At some point in the future, I think I'm going to travel back to the moment you took this photo and shoot you. Uh, unless I can figure out why and find a way to change things in the present. Let's come back to this. Give me the bottle cap. How long have you had your power? Uh, since high school? Right after dad left. Mom was broken. And the way she dealt with being broken was to make sure I wasn't. That was a project. Proof that she didn't need him to do something right. That's a lot to put on a kid. Yeah, don't I know it. I remember wishing <laughs> so much I could just be the way she wanted me, magically, instead of struggling all the time and still falling short. Then I started wishing I could be someone else entirely. Someone who didn't have to carry all that weight. Then, one day, I could. <sighs> My mom, she can wait. So, you said something about Traveling back to a moment? Can you clarify? The truth is, in my teens, I could rewind time. Shit. Time travel too? You're really white privileged into all the cool powers. You'd think so. But... Rewinding was... Too easy to abuse. Knowing you can undo anything makes choice seem irrelevant. Oh, the things I would undo. The bad sex I would unhave. The amazing sex I'd rehab. <laughs> Until you learn... That to move forward, you can only choose one path. And you have to live with it. My turn again, huh? <laughs> How exactly do you shape shift? got something to do with perception manipulating how others see me and hear me like right now I can kind of feel the part of your brain that senses me and if I nudge it wow Yup, still creepy. Are the teens using creepy to mean awesome nowadays? Whoa, it's like she walked across my brain for a second. <laughs> oh. All right, so you used to time travel, and now you can switch timelines? What... what changed? You know how I don't talk about where I'm from? Well, 
where I'm from is gone. Because of me. I saw an article about Arcadia Bay in your memories box. That was a freak storm. I was the freak. And I was the storm. My powers went haywire. And I had a choice. Save the town. Or save the girl that I... I chose her. The blue-haired girl. Hearing her, seeing her get shot in a dirty high school bathroom. I couldn't live with that. So I undid it. And a whole town died. I didn't dare use my powers again. Not till I got here. When other you died, I learned that my powers had changed. That I had. By the way, Moses on the other side gave me that bottle cap to give to you. Moses knows? Well, not everything. He knows about me and you being alive. Not the shape changing, obviously. He told me to tell you to stay safe. I'm trying. I should probably tell you about Maya. Maya Okada was my best friend. God, we were such a pair. <laughs> she was so fucking smart, dude, and the best writer I've ever known. What Lucas did to her, stealing her work, it essentially killed her. And as incandescently angry as I am at Lucas, at everyone, I'm so much angrier at myself. God, I, I told her to stay quiet about it. <laughs> My silence catapulted Lucas fucking Colmenero to literary stardom and sent Maya to an early grave. You said you were mad at everyone about it. Still am. Vin's statement. Bingo. You were supposed to be Maya's friend. But Caledon said jump. At least I have the humanity to regret asking how high. Including Gwen? Gwen was the one who said to put my anger into poetry. That poetry became All the Daughters We Don't Talk About. Your book. Yep. And at the 11th hour, she got cold feet. Does that include your mom? She told me to tell Maya to keep quiet, and she protected Lucas. We've talked it through a little since then. I don't hold it against her. I'm hazy on the connection between all this and your book. Every piece in that collection was about Maya. Or about what happened to her. Guess I told it a little too clearly. 
And when Gwen showed her true colors and pulled the plug on the book, I had to find some other path to vindication. Gwen, Lucas, Finn, your revenge tour. My justice tour. Safi, what if, what if that justice tour goes wrong? What if it spirals out of control? What if eventually it's the reason I... What? This photo? That I don't remember taking? Dude, do you even own a gun? No, but... Great! Don't buy a gun. Problem solved. I don't understand how you can be so chill about this. I don't understand how you could be such a bummer about it. Max, we have fucking superpowers. You keep talking like you're cursed, but you're not. You're in control. You and me, we're more in control than most people. Hey, look at me. Tell me honestly. Do you really think that you're capable of hurting me like that? I hope not. To start, <laughs> I trust you, Max Caulfield. Enough for both of us. But Sophie, we can't just cross our fingers. We have to do something. What do you propose? Lucas. Justice for Maya. You wrote a whole book about it. And that book is dead. The book is... You aren't. I can still expose Lucas. We can. When you tried to expose him before, you were alone. Now there's two of us. We've got powers, and we've got proof. Krampus on campus. Shit, that's tonight. Everyone will be there. And he'll be expecting a mock trial. He won't be expecting us. <sighs> Wanna nail a smug asshole to the wall? I've never wanted anything more. Here at Krampus, but shit, I'm still reeling. Safi has powers. She can literally nudge people's brains to see what she wants them to see. And Lucas, you can't get any lower than plagiarizing your students' work. But after tonight, everyone will know what he did. And Maya will get the justice she deserves. Scream, not safe for work. It's Krampus. Every year it gets even more like a Halloween rager. It's spooky. <laughs> I like it. Everyone should end the year this way. Your idea of a fun outing involves condemned buildings. Of course you'd like it. <laughs> Is the gingerbread house part of the plan? Hilarious. No. The plan is, when it's time to roast Lucas, we'll swap out their toothless slideshow with mine. It's been all day on it. 
got all the evidence I have of what Lucas did to Maya. We'll play it while he's on stage in front of everyone. What's wrong? Just promise me we'll nail him this time. He's not slithering out of this. Not between the two of us and other Moses. You're right. He's fucked. So, how do we pull this off? Looks like Reggie's running the projector. We need someone who's willing to run the slideshow without asking questions. And not piss themselves when Lucas gets mad. I'll see how Reggie's feeling. Next up, Ben. He's the MC tonight. So we'll need his help. Think you can talk him into it? Ben and I have history. And that leaves Gwen. Be nice to have her support. She hates Lucas as much as I do. But I doubt she'd listen to me. I'll talk to her. Great. Let me know when you're done. Enjoy the party! <laughs> Operation Expose Lucas is a go. Hey, Reggie. You manning the projector tonight? <laughs> Babysitting, more like. The school only agreed to let us use Olga here if someone kept an eye on her at all times. Oof. Not what you had planned for Krampus. Reggie, how would you feel about... letting someone else worry about the projector tonight? Yeah, right. It'll be on me if something goes wrong. This thing is probably worth more than my whole tuition. So, so ma'am, uh, please, gonna need you a few steps back. Yes, sir. Okay, Reggie's not going to cut it. But if something went wrong with that projector, and Moses was the only one who could fix it, How can I make sure I only break it in a way that this Moses can fix? <laughs> Say cheese, Krampus. I could have Reggie had been Krampus. It fit him. Ew, is this Latin? Why? Now I'm curious about what happened. I hope Sophie can convince Vin to help us. Yeah, no, I should change the framing. Yeah, no, I should change the framing. It's beginning to look a lot like Krampus. I swore off cinnamon whiskey after that theater party. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> Out. Why do you need to be Because we're part of the same grad cohort? I care what he thinks. Are you kidding? I'm not kidding. I love what you've done with the place. <laughs> Can't wait to take all this shit down. Abraxas's idea of holiday decor does not line up with mine. I'm surprised you let them do anything. You're kind of a control freak. I am not. It's just my bar. <laughs> Whatever, shoo, go enjoy the party. So bossy. It's the truth. I should let Moses have a little more time with Diamond before I drag him into things. Hey guys. Max. Hey. Uh, not to be a downer, but things aren't looking good for you, Diamond. That's because I am playing the long game. You know there's only two more rounds, right? 
This game is impossible. I'm gonna check out more at the party. See you guys. I'll need other Moses to help me break the projector. I used to love this game. Not exactly the right age group for this crowd. Just one. Hate it when that happens. Nobody knew I was going to Whoa, this looks cool. Wonder if Diamond's making another film. Move over, quick! Whoa, did you steal that thing? I'm borrowing him. Oh, why? He told me he wanted a selfie. Ready for the school year to be over? Damn. This year has felt like a string of endless Mondays. You'll be here? I'll be in and out. Don't have too much fun. Hey, Moses. Not sure I'll ever get used to that. <laughs> I like it. It'll help with cosplay. How's your first Krampus? It's the oddest shit I've ever seen in my life. Which is saying something. I usually hate parties, but Krampus is always fun. Anyway, that's not why we're here. Did you guys figure out a plan? Yes. We did, but it's already falling apart. We require Mozai assistance. I need to get other Reggie to let other Moses control the projector instead. Okay. I was thinking if something went wrong with it. So it's gotta go wrong in a way that's right for me to fix it. Exactly. Do you know which projector it is? Reggie called it Olga? Olga can be Particular. If he goes to the other side and listen, I can walk you through jamming it from here. You might be better at my powers than me. Probably. <laughs> Come back and let me know if it works, okay? I will. Better get into position. I don't want to miss. This is instructions. Break you a little bit. <laughs> oh, Reggie's back on his phone. I need Reggie's eyes off that projector long enough for me to get my hands on it. Huh. They're chummy. 
Maybe Diamond can help me out. Reggie's officially distracted. I should be good to go now. I hope Moses is ready on the other side to give me instructions. Maybe Reggie did see her. Did she have to talk to him? Okay, how long did that take? Max, you there? Man, this feels silly. If you're there, start by opening the control hatch. It should be on the right side. You mean there are more controls? I feel kind of like a spy. Do you feel like a spy? Oh, Moses. Okay, Max, you back? If yes, switch the focus mode to menu. If no, I... If no, I'm not really sure. Just keep talking to myself, I guess. So far, so good. What's my next step? Focus is set to manual. That should be good to go. Shouldn't take too long, right? Click one switch. Yeah. Max, next, make sure the focus dial is turned all the way to the left. Still needs to be a little more to the left. This looks like it's in the right spot. I'm giving you an extra second or two. Probably turn the knob all the way to the right at first by mistake. Hey. All right, Max. Final step. Just hit calibrate. After a few seconds, you should hear the motor stick. I can't believe I just did that. I'm sorry, Olga. Sorry, Reggie. But this is one omelet we have to make. No, 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 shit. Uh, what is happening, oh god? Still need to talk to Gwen. We're all for charisma. Hey, just the troublemaker I wanted to see. Me? Really? Figured I ought to tell you how this whole saga turned out. Board fired my ass. Oh, Quinn. I'm so sorry. So is... is that what you came over here for? Safi has a plan to tell the truth about Lucas's book during the roast. It would be a lot more credible if someone from the faculty backed us up. You know, when I first took this gig, I was always trying so hard to make a difference. And now I know that I can't. Not here, anyway. If I've got any fight left, I'm not spending it on this place. I hope you two get him, but I didn't sign up to confront anybody tonight. Hey, I... I totally get that. I'll still miss you. I can't picture this place without you. We'll see each other again. I don't intend to slip that easily into obscurity. I hope... Whatever you do, it's so successful you can rub it in everyone's face later. I'll miss that optimism. <laughs> this 
Safi's as subtle as a flying brick. That would have distracted me too. Trust me, Lucas. This one first, then you can play that one. Hey again. Hey, Moses. I need a favor. I think Reggie's on the brink of ruining the school property. Oh, it's Olga. Everyone thinks she's finicky, but she's just. Rain check? Sure. Booty calls. Hey, Reggie, I found help. I, I, I don't know what happened. One minute she's fine, and the next she's yelling at me like she's my mom. <laughs> There's your problem. The focusing motor is stuck. <laughs> Maybe take the night off, Reggie. I think Moses has it from here. Really? Are you sure? Yeah, Max. You sure? Yeah, this is Krampus we're talking about. We need a pro. You need a pro to press next on the projector? Everything has to be perfect for the rest. Okay. If you're sure. <laughs> Thanks, Moses. You saved my life. <laughs> you're being all maxi. What's afoot? Me and Safi are hijacking the worst tonight. And we need your help to run this slideshow instead. Have a good race. We'll see. Alright. I trust you. I should talk to the other Moses. It worked. Other you is in place and ready to go. Nice. Where'd you get this house? Aren't they from the party? Amanda saved me a kid. She knew Safi and I really got into it last year. Last piece. Oh, damn. Chimney broke. I <sighs> wonder how it tastes. I bet I can find an extra chimney on the other side. Just... Just hang on. I should talk to Safi and get the roast going. To tell Sophie that everything's ready. Look at that perfectly intact chimney. One more bean and this thing's a goner. Can I borrow Sophie for a sec? What's up? So, Other Moses is also making a gingerbread house? Aww. Is he? Yeah. But his chimney broke. Mind if I take yours? How's he doing? Like, really?
He's coping. My powers have been blowing his mind, but he misses you. I wish I could help him somehow. Moses is the only one I do this for. <sighs> this was a doozy to make. I love it. Guess who it's from? It's... For real? From the other side, from... Safi? Thank you, Max. You're welcome. True team effort. Part of your merry band? Yeah, I am. I wasn't able to convince Gwen. Figures. Don't worry about it. We've got bigger problems. Why? What's going on? Lucas is about to call the whole thing off. He's out on the patio freaking out. He's supposed to announce his movie deal tonight. I guess he's worried it's too good to be true. Okay, so what do we do? Better be quick. Guy's two ticks away from calling an Uber. Fuck! I'm gonna go stall him. You figure something out, Max. Good luck. What is she doing? Is that Safi? Yup. <laughs> That's definitely Safi. I better go back up. Safi? Out on the patio. Drink up, baby! How are you so good at- I'll be quick. How did you find success after years of mediocrity? Loretta? I've talked about this in my workshops, Loretta. Don't you remember? Critics rarely understand genius when it first appears. That's... yes. That's a common refrain in great art. It's been years since Water Beast was published. Have you settled for an early retirement? Come on, Loretta. You can't rush the process. Lucas has a vision that requires time to perfect. Yes. Very well said, Max. Thank you. 
Besides, there's a reason Lucas needs to focus back on Wilder Beasts for now. Oh, really? If you stick around for the Krampus roast, you can be the first to break the news. Right, Lucas? Uh... Yeah, that's right, sure. Nice work, Loretta. Thanks for your time, Professor. You trying to get on my good side again? Just trying to steer Loretta in the right direction. The public deserves the truth about your work. Absolutely. I'll let you in. I almost called off the event before you got here. You? On your big night? <laughs> yeah, I know. If my old man could see me, he'd tell me to man up and get in there. <laughs> He was an author too, you know. Roberto Colmenero. <sighs> Come on then. I deserve this. I should stop stalling. Go get him. Roberto Colmenero. Great job, partner. Although, I thought you were gonna puke there for a second. Lucas has a gun. Hey, what the fuck? Why? It belonged to his father. Sophie, this is bad. Oh, Jesus, Max. You might shoot me. Lucas might shoot me. America has a problem. I told you, Max. I trust you. Here, I'll hold on to it. Happy? Thanks. It's time for the Krampus Roast! <laughs> Let's welcome our guest of honor, Professor Lucas Colmanero! Fair warning. He's gonna say a few words before we start, so I hope everyone's already halfway to wasted. <laughs> no hard feelings, bro. Thanks, Vin. I, uh... I wanted to announce some surprising news. No? My world-renowned book, Wilder Beast and Dees, That's not right. Uh, who... What is this? Not your past, Lucas. Your former student, Maya Okada. Now that's odd. <laughs> I thought this was a presentation about your book. Would you care to explain what Maya's doing up there instead? These are not my slides. No? Then let me help you out. The beast rose and stared into me. It became me. I had always been the beast. <laughs> Powerful words from Caledon's famous pet novelist. Am I right? What do we all think? Ooh. <laughs> Thank you. At least someone remembers this is a roast. Now, wait a minute, Professor. This might be the clue we were looking for. 
So, what do we have here? Maya Okada's draft. Wait a minute. Maya wrote that sentence? That, that, that page? For real? Yes, for real. But you already know that. Because every word of your venerated novel belongs to Maya Okada. What the hell are you doing? This is slander. Every one of this man's accolades belongs to Maya Okada. That's why he only wrote one book. I can't believe this. That's why the one book. You were right. It's working. How did he get away with this? You don't know what you're talking about. Try me. All right, all right, let's rein this in. <laughs> now, we wouldn't want this roast to end in any actionable legal threats. <laughs> uh, continue, please. As some of you must surely know, Maya Okada was a beloved former student of mine who tragically took her own life. The thought of her death being politicized and used as, as a cudgel beyond disrespectful. Maya believed in my work. She believed in me. I knew this would fucking happen. Yeah, what are you doing? I'm changing it to Ven. I'll make Lucas fess up myself. Sophie, wait. Really this is your chance to tell everyone God. your side. Shouldn't you go up there as yourself? Are you serious right now? Right. If speaking my truth worked, we wouldn't be here. I am serious. Superpowers aren't the answer to every problem. I would know. With the rest of Caledon. Fuck. As of next year. Wilder BCDs right. will be adapted into a feature Trust you. Film. We have to get in this time, Max. So, this is Vin's turf, not mine. Friends. Make my day. Do you really think I should go up there as myself? You can do this. Fuck. Honesty is not my strong suit. Here we go. Safi. Did you forget that I was actually there? That at one point we were all friends? You, me, and Maya? I trusted you. Was that all a lie too? You're trying to turn me into this monster. I watched you tour the country, win awards for the work you stole from her. I watched her beg you to stop. I watched you kill her. Now you expect me to watch you profit off her grave? Yeah, and what about you? If what I did was really so bad, you would have said something back then. You didn't. I was a child. What was your excuse? And what young Safi here doesn't understand is it, it wasn't stealing. Authors frequently take uh, inspiration from one another. I was going to give her credit, but then she... Think about what I was going through at that time. My divorce, my son, this. This is absurd.
you were right. They listened to me. Just me. Of course they did. You're you. <laughs> you don't know how much this means to me, Max. I'm just happy to share this moment with you. Okay, enough. Let's celebrate! Hey! <laughs> we need to talk. Alone. And before you say, fuck off, you'll want to hear this. Relax. I'm the one packing, remember? I'll be fine. Wait for me. I'll be over with Moses when you're ready. Lucas and Safi? That can't be good. Oh, I should let other Moses know how it went. That was wild. So that's why you needed Moses, huh? Yeah. Man. The fact that Lucas was the department chair after doing that to a student really creeps me out, you know? I really do. Let's forget about Lucas for the rest of the night and get hammered. <laughs> Sounds great. Hey, Amanda. Guess this is what you've been so distracted by. To be honest, I don't like that part of you that keeps yourself hidden from me. I don't want to. I want to tell you everything. But you can't. Not now, at least. Could you maybe give me some time? I know what I want. I'm not always patient when I do. But I'll try. For you. Because you're so cute. Thanks, Amanda. <laughs> What happened? Lucas... <clears throat> ...reminded me that we're not the only ones who can make threats. It's not important. Well, we got him in the end, so... ...no harm done, I guess. Where's Safi? I'm worried. She's around here somewhere. You remember that cow skull thing? I wasn't covering up for Gwen. Just once? I'd love it if you said what you mean. Just keep an eye on Safi tonight, okay? Fine. See you around, Ben. Wait. I want to update the other Moses first. I want to leave him hanging. We got him. What I would have given to see it. How is Safi? Surprised, I think. She's not used to people listening to her and believing her. You should get back. She need you. Us. She knows you're still here for her, too.
keep talking like you're cursed, but you're not. You're in control. My powers didn't backfire. No one was killed by their ghostly selves. What matters most is Maya will finally get the recognition she deserves. And maybe Safi will move on. The way she smiled at me when she came off that stage tonight. I'll never forget that. Tonight was a win, but it was a lot. It's nice to have a moment to breathe. That made my entire year. Mine too. So that's what you two were planning this whole time. Wait, where's Safi? Where's Safi? Safi wanted the truth, so I gave it to her. All of it. You don't even know what the fuck you just did, do you? What was that about? What's wrong? My head, it's... It was my book! I can't, I can't, I can't believe you! Believe I can do this! You lied to me! You lied, you lied to, to me! me. You, lied you lied to me! You lied to me! Safi! You lied to me! 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 are getting worse. Can you hear me? Mom. Why do you? Soft is with you as me. Oh shit. Here and look down at the school. It's all the way down, isn't it? Where? Where is that? Do you know? This reminds me of. No. Never mind. Safi, wait for me. Unforgivable. Almost there. Hold on, Safia. Oh, please. I was trying to say you were trying to protect me. Say it one more time. I fucking dare you. Safi, don't do Stay this. Stay back! Both of you. Safi, 
Listen to me. Something's happening to your powers. You're losing control. All this time I've been trying to get justice and she's the one who's been getting in the way. Not Gwen, my own fucking mother. It was you? You canceled her book deal? The book was just her latest twisted fuckery. She's been doing this for years, since I was a kid. You deserve better than what I <laughs> Sophie, remember what I told you about Arcadia Bay? About the storm? It's happening again. I can't do this again, Sophie. I can't sit by and watch everything get wiped away. Please, don't make me. Max, she kept me from seeing my dad. And she made me think it was his idea. How fucked up is that? You don't understand. This world can be so cruel. How's this for cruel? The only time in my entire life that you were controlling me was when I wasn't even me. Happy day. Oh. Oh. oh my God. for you. Shut up! No! What the fuck, Max? You the fucking hero again? You couldn't just stay back and let me handle this for once? It's okay, Yasmin. You're gonna be okay. Get away from her! Ah! Ah! Oh my god, Sophie! Stop. 